Okay, hello, this is uh, Mark Holmes, the uh, Group Content Director for the Satellite Group at Access Intelligence at Satellite 2018 here at uh, Washington DC. An absolute honor and a pleasure to have our 30th ever Satellite Executive of the Year, Gwyn Shotwell. Um, firstly, on behalf of the VIA Satellite Team and the Satellite Show Team, congratulations on, on winning the award. It is really, really well deserved. You've done an amazing job um, building up SpaceX over the last few years. So firstly, congratulations from all of us. Um, tell us what this sort of winning this award means to you, first of all. This was a particularly special award for me. Uh, many of my customers, colleagues, now friends have won this award. And so it's really nice to be able to kind of follow in their footsteps and uh, kind of join their ranks. So it, it's really very meaningful to me. Thank you very much, by the way, Mark. Our pleasure. Let, let's talk a little bit about the market. I mean, we've had some very interesting conversations at this show, looking at new constellations, LEO, IoT, a new era for the satellite industry. As someone that is you're really sort of powering the industry in a different way by launching these satellites, what have your observations been and, and how optimistic are you for the future of this industry right now? I'm quite optimistic for the future of this industry. I think right now, last year and this year, we're going through kind of a lull or a slow period while folks are taking a step back, assessing technology and figuring out how they're going to accelerate going forward. So right now is a little bit of a slow period, but I'm quite uh, quite invested and quite excited about the future of this industry. And tell us about the sort of the future for SpaceX. I mean, you know, you guys are doing some amazing things, not just in launching rockets, but some of your other plans in terms of space as, as well. Could you sort of share with us um, a little bit of the vision and what we can expect to hear from sort of SpaceX maybe over the next year to two years? Yes, yeah, so we had a great year last year and this year is going to be even more exciting and accelerated. So last year we basically met our manifest launching 18 times. This year we have, we're almost doubling that this year. And there's two really critical things that we're gonna do this year as well. We're gonna turn, we're turning that cargo Dragon spacecraft into a crew carrying spacecraft. And so this year we'll be flying that spacecraft both autonomously to the International Space Station and we'll be carrying our precious NASA crew this year as well. So it'll be the first time that uh, we are launching astronauts from American soil since 2011 when Atlantis flew her last flight. So big stuff this year. We flew Falcon Heavy earlier this year. We've got two more to go by the end of this year. Those are very exciting flights. It's a gigantic rocket. I have to ask you about that Falcon Heavy launch because that, that made headlines way beyond the mainstream satellite press. Just so your sort of, I guess sort of personal recollections, your observations from that launch and, and you know, what you thought about that and uh, you know, tell us a little bit about that from your perspective. Actually, I have a special video on that launch and I'll be showing it today at lunchtime. It's really kind of a heart string pulling video. Um, frankly, I did not anticipate the, uh, the uptick in interest in that launch. I did not anticipate it would be it, what, what it was. I knew it would be quite a surprise for people who were tuned in, but so many people tuned in. And it's interesting, people that never thought about space launch before probably didn't even think that much about space. Millions of people descended on Cape Canaveral and Florida. Um, great for the economy there, I was happy for that boost. People tuned in on the webcast, like millions of people were watching that. And I think we made headline front page news on over 80 international publications. It was extraordinary. It was. Extraordinary. It absolutely was. I actually woke up and it was on my BBC feed and everything. And, and then I was actually called out for once because I said, oh, I know this company. I do interviews with this company. Let's just end on a question about sort of the space industry and attracting young talent. Because that's a big theme of this show, um, getting more young people to join this industry. What is SpaceX doing and how can we sort of, you know, use what SpaceX is doing to get more young talent to really take this industry to the next stage? So young people today have hundreds of opportunities in front of them. And so you have to attract them with something that they're passionate about. Young people today entering the market want to be passionate about the work they do. It's really not as much about money as it used to be. It's more about are they doing something that's helping change the world, helping make it better. And that's something that SpaceX has been focused on from the beginning. Uh, we want to make the world a better place and our contribution there is to develop systems that will take people to other planets, kind of proliferate the human species. And I know that sounds crazy, doesn't sound very businessy, but frankly, that's why we're in business. 
It's fantastic and again we applaud the ambition and also the execution what we saw last year which ultimately led to you winning the award. Gwyn, as always, it's a pleasure and an honour. Um, you know, we look forward to presenting you the award and we wish you and SpaceX uh, all the best for the rest of the year and beyond. Thanks very much, Mark. It's a pleasure Thanks. and an honour.